We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. Today's topic is going to be regarding the lack of confidence in the arts. And so sometimes I see people say that they're no good, that they can't do or achieve something in the arts, or that, you know, for example, backgrounds. I know a lot of people are very fearful of, of backgrounds. And so they would say to themselves, oh yeah, I can draw humans, but I can't draw backgrounds. And usually what I see is the words that we tell, our sh- that we tell ourselves shape what we can and cannot achieve. And so what's helped me along my path to take back my artistic power is to be careful of the words that we speak. So if I say that I can't do something, chances are I can't do something. If I say that I can do something, the chances are I will be able to do something. And so saying the word can't is a very limiting term. And so to change the word can't, if you're not at that level that you wish to be at, just say that you will eventually get to that level instead of saying you can't do it because you're setting yourself up for automatic failure. And so really and truly, when I'm on my path, when I see a challenge, I will eventually get to that level, or I can do it, is out of those two things. And when I say I can do it, or I will eventually get to that level, I then prove it with my action. I prove it to myself with through the actions that I take, hence practice. And so there's this talk of talent as if you have to be born to be able to draw exceptionally well. However, there are people that do exist that, you know, that practice to get to where they are at the moment, you know? So let's just, I'll just say me, for example. Uh, If you were to look at my past uh, scraps from DeviantArt, you'd see exactly where I was at, you know? And I had no prior knowledge of like fundamental drawing skills, etc. And there were, you know, other people, other artists who were like really good that I like. I was like, oh, wow, this is really good art and whatnot back when I was in in high school. And so depending on the words we tell ourselves, how much fun we're having uh, and the challenges that we face in the arts will depend on how fast we improve Uh, stress and, you know, the supposed hard work where you strain yourself and kill yourself to achieve that goal is not necessary at all. What is necessary is the challenges that we face, and we can have a positive outlook, an exciting outlook on these challenges, or we can have a negative outlook on the challenges. And I did a, uh, a YouTube video on the fastest way to improve at drawing, the emotional po- approach, so you can go check that out. And so that will be all for today. Peace out, peeps. And consider subscribing to the family. So you can hit that and don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send the notifications for you and then just save it. I also provide you guys a Discord or a place to chat. My Discord will be available in the link down below. I provide references, you know, for anyone that want to, you know, look into it you know so I have references for you know ears breasts you know front torso back torso etc and including hands as well and this is where you can you know just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here etc that's just the basis of the discord check it out whatnot and that'll be the video thank you guys for watching peace out